Hello hobby gardeners, farmers and DIY lovers, this is your boy. Um, first I'd like to wish you a happy new year. Thank you for finding your way back to my channel if you're new here. I am Will. I would encourage you to subscribe, like, share, comment and then we'll grow this channel together. Today's video is about the goats on my farm. So apart from the poultry farm, I have other animals including goats. And uh, one of my goats has been in labor for a couple of days now. And I'm not entirely sure whether it's safe for the goats or even for the kids that need to be born or are going to be born to delay for this long. I've never seen this before, but I've never kept goats before. So this is my actually my first time, but I'm slightly worried that the goat has been in um, labor for this long. It looks like now the baby is coming out or it's almost out. Um, I don't know if the baby should be kind of bent like that it, and plus it doesn't look like it's got life. Uh, I can't see much of um, of a movement, and um, it looks actually quite a beautiful baby. I like the color. It looks like it's taking the color of a mum. Um, but yeah, I'm slightly worried that the baby might not be alive. Um, it certainly doesn't look like it's moving a lot. Um, so this is what they do. Um, whilst the baby is coming out, they tend to. Um, lick all the um, um, slimy bits I don't know what's called but the slimy, the slimy bits um, that is around the baby um, just to clean it up and keep the air space um, open for the baby to be able to breathe um, and um, this one looks like um, it's almost done so the legs are out must be very tiring um, I can certainly feel her pain somehow or empathize I'm definitely not feel but empathize that's actually a very beautiful baby and I hope it actually does make it because um, it, uh, currently I don't see a lot of movement and I'm filming from the outside of the shed goat sheds so I'm not on the inside so I didn't want to disturb her so I'm filming from the outside through the openings of the shed. So I understand um, whilst they are licking, they're also picking up the scent of the kit, as they call them. And this way she's able to identify her baby anywhere. Yeah, this is where I think my worries may be confirmed that it doesn't look like this one made it. It's quite unfortunate, but it doesn't look like this one made it and she either doesn't realize or she realizes it. And yeah, it's quite sad, but yeah, fortunately, it seems she was pregnant with two kids and the second one came a different color. This one might look slightly like the dad um, from what I can see here and this one this is what i expected the first one to look like unfortunately the first one actually didn't make it as i suspected and it looks like it was a male it's actually quite big um which i think it may have it from the dad stature um, this one looks um strong enough or at least alive but i also think this one is not actually as strong as it's supposed to be it looks like this one is a female, so she's supposed to be a bit stronger than she is now. Or at least she's trying to get up. So it looks like her brother didn't survive, but she did. And I'm tempted to call her Lucky. After a few hours of cleaning, she got completely dry from her mom licking her. But we found that she wasn't really in the best of health. She couldn't stand on her own, um, which also made me suspect that maybe she was born prematurely. Because I didn't want the other goats to be stomping on her, I decided to separate it from her mom and cater for it for at least a night to make sure that she actually can stand on her own before I give her back to her mom. So what we did was we gave her milk formula. So this is not actually her mom's um, milk, but we did milk formula and fed her through the syringe. 
she did feed on it which was actually quite good so feeding was good it would mean it means that she would get back to strength or we were hoping that she gets back to strength as soon as possible so she can join her mum and and don't ask me why we have those leaves there i don't know i don't even remember what happened but i think we were trying to keep a bit of good shed vibe because we we brought her into the house it was getting late, we realized she wasn't gonna gain the full strength that we were hoping for so we decided to keep her inside and keep her in a box to keep her warm and this is um, night one. So she stayed with me in my room and um, she would wake up in the evening uh, or in the middle of the morning. I would feed her and most times I would exercise her a little bit, try to help her to walk a little bit after the milk and then I'll put her back into her box and have a rest. She looks like she was getting stronger with each passing hour. I was actually counting the hours rather than the days because I wanted to get rid of her quickly. Um, I mean, just give her back to her mom quickly. So I was counting the hours and she seemed to be making really good progress. She definitely does look better, stronger than when she was first born. Yeah, she seems to be doing well. So I think she's, you can see a whole lot of improvement from when she was born until, I think this is like the second night here. Yeah, this is the second night of her staying with me. Today we decided to bring her out and give her to her mom to see if she would breastfeed on her own or be encouraged to get up on her own. It didn't work so we decided to try and um, let her breastfeed on her mom. Um, dad has come around to check what's going on um, that's dad in the frame over there. Um, but yeah we tried, she sucked a little bit but she didn't seem like she could do the breastfeeding on her own so I had to bring her back into my room for another night. Today she's being a little diva, she doesn't want to walk, so I just gave her the milk and I thought she would exercise but she just went straight to sleep and I was like well then I can sleep early as well. So I put her to sleep um, in her sack and into her box and just allow her to be the diva that she thinks she is. Today she also looks very frail. I don't know why, um, but she's not, you know, in the best of um, strength. And um, yeah, just give her the milk, and she just went back to sleep again. Um, she doesn't look as active as she normally is. After two days or two nights of being a diva, it was about 1 a.m. that she woke me up she was crying as if you know, the devil was after her and it seemed like she was very, very hungry, so which was actually a good thing. So I gave her three syringe full of the milk and she seemed very, very, very active tonight. She just um, was all over the place. I've never seen her this active before. She was constantly uh, looking for milk. I think after two days of um, being very, very weak and frail, she got some strength back or she was just sleeping, I don't know. But the past two nights, she's been very, very weak and just um, very inactive. Uh, but tonight, she's just full of energy and also very hungry. So yeah, she got three syringe full of the milk. Looks like she wants to play, I don't know, it's the middle of the night, I don't think I want to play. So yeah, after three syringe full of milk, I cleaned her up. I tried to do the stuff that her mom would do, you know, clean her up routinely. I had a bit of milk all over her, she wouldn't really stay quiet and drink the milk, so there was milk all over her. I also used this opportunity of cleaning to kind of um, give her a little bit of a massage, kind of get her bones to strengthen up, her joints to strengthen up. Yeah, so the, the cleaning was very thorough. Obviously, I couldn't lick her, so <laughs> this is my way of licking her with a, a toilet roll. It's, um, it's actually very um, nice to see that the nursing is actually going well and there is a chance that she might survive because initially we, I didn't think she was going to survive. Nobody 
thought she was going to survive but it looks like she is um, going to survive which is actually quite good and it would make me really really proud if I'm able to at least get her on her feet and so that she can like directly feed from her mom and you know the mom will continue to do the caretaking and I can sleep throughout the night so yeah I I felt like she wanted to play I felt like she was very active so I decided to just indulge her a little bit and just put her on a um, on the floor and allow her to walk around because it was actually for her own good as well that she would walk around more and this will strengthen her legs and um, yeah she seemed actually very playful and active she just wanted to um, walk around not just sleep which was actually a good thing considering that she was actually disturbing my sleep Look at that, she peed. Yeah, all that cleaning. Anywho, yeah, it was one of those things. Um, yeah, she, she peed, she pooed, and um, yeah, I was there to clean the oh. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. It's quite interesting how she's, um, I think, taking a liking to me. I think she might think I'm a mum because you can clearly see that she's coming close to me, even though she was um, way back there. I think, but right about now, she was done with the exercising because I could see that the level of activity was coming down and she didn't want to do it anymore so I just decided to put her back into her little bed a makeshift bed and uh, just let her sleep so I can also go back to bed Yeah, unfortunately, she didn't survive. I had to travel for a day. So I left the farm. I'm left Lucky with one of my workers. And they put Lucky outside to the head of the sun. And um, when the rain was coming, it looks like they forgot to put Lucky back into the house. They realized too late. So you can see she's actually completely wet. Yeah, it's rather unfortunate, but I think um, she would have survived had I not travel. But yeah, yeah, thank you for watching. If you are returning to this channel, thank you very much for returning. If you are new here, thank you for finding the channel. Please do subscribe, like, share, comment. And um, I am hoping to bring you some more video. Um, what I'm going to be doing next um, or in the future is um, I think we're going to talk more farming. So there'll be less videos of um, activities on the farm because I think it is very important that I actually do have conversation with you um, especially for those people who are looking to start farming any kind of farming um, I think it is important that we have a conversation and I can explain some things to you I can outline some of some of my mistakes some of my challenges some of my successes so um, we're going to start a conversation and um, I hope you do um, come back and you do join in and you do also tell people um, to join in on the conversation. I would look forward to your comments um, in the comment session and um, hope to see you again. And again, Happy New Year. And I hope this year is your year. This year you would also um, start your farming and um, we can talk more farming. Um, until then, it's your boy. I am Will and I am out.